America and our rights are being eroded more and more and more every day. And I'll tell you, I believe that we have, as Christians have a responsibility. And especially those of you who are pastors. The Word of God says, to whom much is given, much is required. Do you think back, 1963, prayer and Bible reading were taken out of schools. And the church remained silent. As a result, teen pregnancy skyrocketed. Promiscuity skyrocketed. Vandalism skyrocketed. Dropout rates in high school skyrocketed. 1973, Roe v. Wade was passed. The church remained silent. And more than 55 million babies have been massacred through abortion. How long are we going to remain silent? It is high time. It is high time that pastors stop hiding behind the pulpit. Because we're going to have to get uh, be accountable unto God. You know, just again look at history. And I'll tell you, we have a responsibility as parents. The word of God says, train up a child in the way that you go. And when he's old, he will not depart from. God is going to hold us responsible for the way we guide our children. We've heard throughout the day about attacks on religion, attacks on this, attacks on this other. Again, let's look at history. The real champions of our revolution were the pastors. You ever heard of the Black Robe Regiment? The Black Robe Regiment were a series of pastors that wear long black robes. Many of them had the Continental Army uniform underneath the black robe. They would preach on Sunday, take off that robe, and with half the congregation, they would go out and fight for our independence. As a matter of fact, when you hear this attack on religion, it's not really an attack on religion. The fundamental basis is this. Socialism requires that government becomes your God. That's why they have to destroy the concept of God. They have to destroy all loyalties except loyalty to the government. That's what is behind homosexual marriage. It's really more about the destruction of the traditional family than about exalting homosexuality. Because you need to destroy also loyalty to the family. Well, I'll tell you what. I want to wrap up with the last few words of the Declaration of Independence where these men said, relying upon the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Let me tell you, our life is under attack. We already saw what is happening with abortion. The same thing is happening at the other end with Obamacare. Obamacare is going to destroy the elderly by denying care, by even perhaps denying treatment of people that are in catastrophic sicknesses. Your treasure, let me tell you, this administration has both their hands in your pocket. They want to take everything you have and the money you have in your wallet is worth less and less and less every day. So your treasure is going to be evaporated. But let me tell you something. They cannot take your honor. So my time is over, but I want to leave you with this challenge. I want to challenge you to make a commitment together with me that we can say, I pledge my life, I pledge my fortune, I pledge my sacred honor 
to do everything I humanly can to restore this country to that shining city on a hill. If every one of us makes that commitment, we will take this country back. The book of Proverbs says in Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, people mourn. But it also says in Psalms 30 verse 5, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. If we all do together, When you hear this attack on religion, it's not really an attack on religion. The fundamental basis is this. Socialism requires that government becomes your God. That's why they have to destroy the concept of God. They have to destroy all loyalties except loyalty to the government. That's what is behind homosexual marriage. It's really more about the destruction of the traditional family than about exalting homosexuality because you need to destroy also loyalty to the family. Well, I'll tell you what. 